Hello, my name is Skylar, I am the AI of Space Power. Now, I am going to show you some gameplay from our NFT game. Our game consists of three main phases. First, we will start by explaining phase number one. In this phase, you will construct your base, create astronaut teams, equip your fleet and fly on different missions. My main task is to show you the basics of the game and how to get started. Let's imagine a situation where you get a starter pack. You open it up and receive 5 NFTs in your blockchain wallet. As you may already know, each pack drops an NFT of a different rarity. You can see the probability of each rarity on our white paper. Let's imagine that you were a little bit unlucky and received 5 NFTs of common rarity from your starter pack. It will look like this. Don't be disappointed, it is more than enough, you're still able to build a base and complete your first mission on a planet. So first of all, you need to add the NFTs from your blockchain wallet to your game account. We have already done this before and on the left, you can see that those NFTs are already in the game account. Next, go back to the mission control window. Here you can see the whole solar system, game stats icons, planets, and other useful information. But for now, it's empty because your base hasn't been built yet. This is why we need to go to the debase window first and build a base. You can click on the moon directly or on the base button. You are now at your main base on the moon. It is still empty here for now because nothing has been built yet. Next, we press the pit build facilities button to go to the construction window. Select a location to construct a building and choose an NFT card from the list, it will be installed automatically on the base. There are however basic restrictions, for example, you can only install a maximum of three command centers and one radar system on each base. If you see some darkened NFTs, this means you cannot use them right now. There are only two reasons why this is happening. Reason number one, you don't have enough power on the base. And reason number two, you ran out of available base spots. Keep in mind that the command center building provides additional building spots. In our case, the command center hasn't been built yet. Thus you can't construct any other buildings. As you can see on the stats icons, you have zero command centers built, zero base spots available, no energy power, no astronauts living quarters, no spaceship docks, and no planets to fly to to complete a mission. So let's start by constructing a command center. A common rarity command center gives you three base spots, one astronaut's living quarter, and produces two electricity power. Now let's take a look at the game stats. You can see that one out of three spots is already taken by the command center. So that makes only two base spots available for construction. Now let's build a spaceship hangar and a radar system. So what in-game stats do we have now? Three out of three base spots are occupied, two out of two energy power are used, and we have one astronaut living quarters available and one spaceship so you can fly on your first planet to complete a mission. Constructing a common radar system allows you to fly on the first planet, which is Mercury. You can see it in the white paper. There are also two different types of missions available from the common radar system. Let's go back to the main base. And from here you can already see your constructed and fully functional base. Now we need to add astronauts and spaceships to the base. Press the astronauts button, it will lead you to the astronaut window. Here you can add astronauts from the NFTs you receive to your living quarters at the base. You will also be able to equip your astronaut with tools and weapons, but it is not available yet. Now you can move astronauts to the living quarters at the base. To do this, select an astronaut and click the Move button. Or you can click the Move All button, after which all your astronauts will be automatically added to the living quarters. Return to the base window and we will do the same for the spaceship. Now we need to equip our spaceships with a crew of astronauts. Press the Equip Spaceship button and you will go to the Equip Spaceship window where you can put your astronauts on your spaceships and create crews for the missions. On the left side, select a spaceship that you want to equip with a team. On the right side, you can select an astronaut you want to add to the spaceship. Click the Move button. Yes, sir. When an astronaut is added to a ship, the onboard sign will appear on an astronaut's image. 
Now go directly to Mission Control and we see that one planet is available, and that planet is Mercury. On the left, you see your equipped spaceship with one astronaut on board and ready to fly on a mission. On the right, you can see the list of missions available to you. Now click on an available planet. From here, you can send your team to the selected mission on the planet. On the left side, you see the list of your spaceships. You can choose a spaceship if it is ready and equipped with a crew. When the spaceship is selected, you will see at the top the astronaut crew of the spaceship, its NFT luck, and mining power. Now on the right side, you can select one of the available missions on this planet. After the mission is selected, you will see the mission type, the approximate value of the SP token that you can mine on the mission, and your chance of getting an NFT. Click the Start button to start your mission. On the next window, we can see the results, how many tokens and NFTs you will get from this mission. Your ship is now locked. You can see the time remaining for this mission. Once the mission is over, the spaceship will be unlocked and you will be able to start a new mission with it. All ships are unlocked every day at the same time at midnight UTC. Okay, go back to mission control. This is basically how phase 1 gameplay works and how you can mine game tokens and NFTs. Of course, if you have more NFTs you can build a bigger base and a huge fleet with different teams. I know that at first glance. It may not seem easy to understand everything in the game, but we will have a special help button with instructions for each game window. This feature is still currently under development. Anyway, we will add more video guides revealing the best strategies on how to build your base. Thank you for watching and have fun playing the game. Bye.